in Parshas Amor. So there's tremendous uh, Shabbos, because if you think about it, but there's, a, there's an expression, Melep at the Parsha. That means everything goes with the Parsha. This Parsha is, has, include, besides everything else about it, has Shabbos, Pesach, Shru, Sukkot. It's all Nikhla. It means you can get this Shabbos, can encapsulate all the other time. It's a It's a Shabbos that comes before Lag Boimer. It's a Shabbos in the Oimer. So we can accomplish tremendous things. I think also in the Matzah the Klai rolls in today, I'm not the one Khalila to be projected to, I'm just thinking, just sharing thoughts. So, firstly, in the Zman of Sriya Soimer, so we have to understand, Pashat the Sriya Soimer, we're in Avelis. What's the Avelis for? 24,000 Yidden died. It's a terrible, terrible catastrophe. Tami the Merbekiva. But there's been Nebuch over Klai Yisrael's history. Tisha B'av's the day that's Nikva for Tsaras of Klai Yisrael, the Holocaust, the six million people, Crusades, the, the Kinnis are said on Tisha B'av. What's up is that Svira is pump the time for the 24,000 tell me them it's true. They were decimated. And, and, and they had to restart again. But in the, in the sense of Corbin, why pump this man of Svira? If, and, and what did they do so terrible? Because I'll say, like, no, I'll go cover Zeb and Zeb. Similar to Kiva. They didn't give cover to each other. Honor. Does it say they mavaz anybody? They, they disgrace anybody? Never. They never disgraced anybody. They never said anything bad to Khalilah to anybody, to hurt anybody. When we think of covered, what's covered? How are you? Stand up for you. Uh, can I get you something to drink? Okay. It's a ter- it's a, it's a, maybe Shane is but even that, wh- where do you find such a, a punishment? Should come, there should be wiped out. And now, Rahman al Sami, we hear Magaifa, we, we get Nebuch. Sadiqim, Sadiqim, Kedoshim, you hear people on Nifta, Gvaldi, Gachashim, and then it hits and it hurts. And it's, it, each one is Chashim. You hit one, two, three, the Mamish is terrible. Can you imagine this is 800 people a day dying? What's, this? What's going on? What did they do wrong? And why should they be wiped out? If you notice also, Rabbi Sraskin pointed this out, Rashiva tells, he said that Chazal say, Yud Beis El of Zugas, it calls them 12,000 pairs. Now, pairs, it means each one that is Chavrusa. There's two places, one place is 24,000. Tell me one place 12,000 pairs. I have my Chavrusa, I have no time. I, I partially didn't notice the other person. Not, not because of, I, I didn't notice him. COVID means you have to notice hello. I said, my Chavrusa, I'm in the way. What, what, so what was the problem there? I have my chavrusa, we're good. I don't have to worry about the other person. But when, when is it time to worry about the other person? Keep his tummy in the morning with that small the rabbi. So the Chorim Pshat, you could say, Chavis Chaim says in Avas Chesed, Agdama to Avas Chesed, I once found this quoted, they look it up in Agdama. Brilliant piece of the Chavis Chaim. He goes over there in Pashas Ekev, he takes Psukim, three of them in Pashas Ekev, which the Chavis Chaim's brilliance picked up on them, and he put them together, and you see Mamish Beferish. It says, what does it say next to fearing Hashem? Go in Hashem's ways. What's Hashem's ways? Chanun, Rachum, compassionate, benevolent. So it says, you want to get your Shemayim, fear Hashem? You have to go in Hashem's ways. As the Pesach says, to get to fear Hashem, go in His ways, be kind to people, compassionate, do to people. Now, let's say a person already attained the level of being close to Kodesh Baruch Hu, fearing Hashem. He's going to say, I haven't got time to be involved with the pettiness of people. I want to be with Hashem 24-7. I'm going to get to the level of Avas Hashem, which is a higher level, loving Hashem. So, I haven't got time to be involved with pettiness of people. This guy's a squabble have to take it. I want to be involved with Hashem himself. If you look at the Chumash, by Parshat Zekev, it says, La'ava oisoi, to love Hashem. It says, Va'lach to b'chol drachav. It's going all of his ways. Not the drachav, b'chol drachav. You want to get to the level of loving Hashem? You have to go in all of Hashem's ways. Go through the list. Chan and rachem, merch ha'payim, noisi ha'bim ha'fesh of chato. You have to be patient with people. You have to be able to be kind. That's when you get to the level of loving Hashem. Now you want to get to the level of dovka boy? Now love is a sporadic thing. It's a spurt. You have a love and feeling. It happens. I feel intense love now, but sometimes it wears off. Doesn't feel it right that moment. Dovka is dveikus, cleaving the whole time. You're, st- you're, you're grabbing on, never letting go. 
That's a high madrega. Then we get to the level of cleaving to Hashem. So I have to be with Hashem 24-7. I can't let go for a second. You want to get to that level? It says the Pasuk and Chumash and Parsha Zekev. It says again, You have to go on all of Hashem's ways. Then you can get to that level. Ulai. Chumz Chaim is the way. Maybe I'm Zayfa. So it comes out of my dekazah. So it comes out like this. You see Taka Tzadikim, that uh, Tzadikim, you see my sister, my sister, my sister. Mom, again, just a claim, just a small Maisa, this will just shed light and you see, read the books about him, you see over and over and over again. For example, he one time, I saw Bechbein, I was able to see him. He learned every single second of the day. He didn't waste a stack. Of the, between Gavra and Gavra, he's wrapping up his tefill and you can see him learning Mishnayis. But he came to somebody, he gave him this full attention. A kid, he's walking to his car and he saw a kid wants to take a picture of him. The Moshe sees a kid wants to take a picture kid wants the picture, so Moshe stands, lets the kid take the picture. Then he gets into his car and he tells the driver, no, please don't drive off yet. He's going to my answer's G'dayla to a meeting where every second of this G'dayla. But he says to the driver, I noticed the kid's hand, he fumbled the camera. He fumbled the camera, I've got to give him another shot. What do you mean? You stand for a picture is one thing. To notice that the kid's hand is shook, how do you can tell from 10 feet away? But if that's important to you, that what this kid needs, then I have to give him what he needs. It's not I mean, you read stories about him, how he wrote letters for this Russian lady because he could write Russian. She had no idea this great rabbi from, uh, from uh, is going to be busy with other things and nothing more important than writing her letters to her sister in Russia for 20 years. Did, did that diminish Moshe's greatness? Or you look at him now, wow. What do you mean? What's the pshat? You see stories of Rashach, no ridiculous stories. You look at him in The story after story, it's worth just the stories alone to see this, what he did. Uh, a kid that was a teenager needed a, a, a psychiatrist. The night before Pesach, Medikus Chametz, he calls up the psychiatrist in Yerushalayim. Uh, you have to see this boy. He says, Rabbi, it's not Pesach, but Medikus Chametz. I'm going to bring him to you. Well, she was going to bring him to me. I'll, I'll see him on tonight. Well, she doesn't bring him to me. He saw how important it was to see this kid. So then he sees this boy for two hours. The next day, his neighbor asks him, Who was that Chashem guy you had last night in your house? He says, What do you mean? Rav Shach is walking back and forth for two hours waiting for him. I couldn't believe it. He called up Rav Shach. He said, what, what's going on? I said, Rav I never brought him in, did I? He told me I shouldn't bring him in. I bring him in. So I said, I said, look, I have a small apartment. I could do five minutes. But someone has to bring him. Someone has to take care. It's story after story. A hell of a We have time to go into the stories now. But they see. Now Rav Shach is the same thing. He was learning 24-7. They saw him get up middle of the night. Looking as far as they know. sleeping, he was awake. I like the time to learn it. But he also, in the same, as soon as it came to taking care of somebody else, total dedication. Loyuman. The story after story. The guy went to go to a kailal. He asked him, which kailal should go to Yishalayim? But he brought, yeah, come on. He says, come back in the week. He comes back in the week and he tells him to Yishalayim kailal. He goes to the Rosh kailal. Rosh kailal says, are you Rav Shach's enical? No. You're his best Talmud, Muvik. No. You learn the Panovich. No. So how do you know Rav Shach? I don't. I don't believe it. He said, Shach came and drilled the whole kailal. He had the rush kailal. He had the yunga light. How's this kailal? What's the pain? What's the, what's the, 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 the mascara, how it works, the whole He went to the other kailal too. And the young man couldn't believe it. He ran to Shach and showed him slicha. I, I just meant to ask an answer. I said, I can't give an answer unless I know. So he spent hours and hours. Roshiva, Rabbi Shakoli, everything's on his head. He has to worry about the young man because he asked him what to do. So he had to give him the right answer. Did he take anything away from Roshach? No, it enhanced him. Why? Because the Dovka boy, if you go on the Ban Shalom's ways, you become one with Hashem. That's the purpose. A person that's Tari Yisrael, the rise of Kutcher Bichu Chadu, is one. So Mela, automatically, when I'm involved in Taira, and I'm going to get to that level where I'm with the Ban Shalom, I'm going to emulate Hashem. So I'm going to take care of the other person. I'm going to know, because that's Hashem's halichos. I become one with him and go on his derech. Again, the Khalila would not talk about Tony Kiva who are us to judge, but the Chazal used the language like no covered Zebazer. Could be. They didn't have that element. I'm, 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 I'm learning 24 7. But it has to bring to that Vekas Takash Baruch where there's a no good covered. You notice the other person maybe needs a smile to their Shom Aleichem, a covered, a drink, something. That's part of that growing with Hashem. That's what Torah makes a person with the Bayan Shalem as one. If the Khalila, the Tamidim, whatever that means, didn't have that aspect, the level, like a Baron says, that, that door can't be the most Surah HaTorah, the giving over the Torah to the next generation. It has to be removed. Start again, get new Tamidim. 
So that's a message that we can certainly have in this time of Svir Saimer, which is leading up to the Matan Torah, what Klai Yisrael is growing to, to accept the Torah of the Bani Shalom, is to give us the Tveikas Takadosh Baruch Hu, what it means, and how to get it. The Eretz is Kabbalah Torah, because that's a prerequisite to understand the Torah what it wants from us, to become one of the Kadosh Baruch Hu. We're living in such a time now with this whole Matzav and Klai Yisrael, besides the fact that it gives us opportunity now also to be machshiv people, to think. It also gives us time to understand the drachim that we have to come to the Bani Shalaylam. A very worthwhile venture, I tell everybody, and I think it's very chashiv, and that's the site, is, is listening to Bitochen Hotline, the concept that now a person can, can uh, attach himself to Bani Shalaylam. To understand the basics that we, everything is there's nothing but the Baruch Shalom. That's the Metzius. And Hashem is showing us in the Bria today with everything taking place that we're going through, there's nothing but Hashem. That's the Metzius. And, and, and it's a very worthwhile thing to keep listening, to understand, and to dehair that there's nothing but the Baruch Shalom. That's it. There's nothing but Him. Everything is all orchestrated, done by Him. This person gets a virus doesn't mean anything. It means that Kosh Baruch decided that this person is going to have the Yeshua, the Rafua, the sickness, the, whatever it is. It's all, it's all Hashem. It's all one package deal, so to say. It means a person has to understand that the, the build-up from the Leiv Mitzrayim, the left of confines of the Golos, which is holding us back the way we think, the way we live. And it's allowing us, like Nuthu Melio says, that the whole Olam has it falls apart. That's the Golos. And we now aspire to what the Torah is for us. What's the Torah? We left Mitzrayim to allow us to be. If they would have stayed in Mitzrayim one more minute, they would have been in Nunshari Tumah. How's that possible? They just brought the carbon Pesach the night before. They just did Bris Mila. So what do you mean? They did Mitzvahs. How can there be more Tumah? You've got to read the 50th level of Tumah. Because what's Tumah mean? Tumah means, like the Rashi in Vayikra says, Vayikar. Vayikar, Hashem appeared to Bilam as Vayikar. That's Rashi says, Mikra, it's Tuma. What's Tuma? Hashem talks to Bilam, that's Tuma. Tuma means that you missed the opportunity of understanding what you just had. You just talked to Rabbi Shalom, should it be the biggest Kedusha? How can Bilam walk away after talking to Rabbi Shalom and now it's Tame? Terence says, because he missed it. He, he just talked to Hashem. Did he get elevated? Did he get inspired? Did he understand he just spoke to Kedush Baruch Hu? No. Then that's the biggest Tuma. Tuma means missed opportunity of what Kedusha can bring about what you can have. So if Mitzrayim, where they just had Makas Bechayrus, and even the Bechayrus in Mitzrayim, why did they send the Jews out? It doesn't say because the Makas Bechayrus took place. He says, Kulon Mason, the Pasuk said, everyone got panicked, we're all going to die, because they saw people dying who were not Bechayrim in their eyes. They didn't know that these people were Bechayrim, because they didn't know that this Ashes Ish lived with his Nus, with another man, and that was his firstborn. So they were seeing people dying all over the place. He said, only Bechayrim. Everyone's dying. I'm going to die too. Get the Jews out of here. What do you mean? You just saw the Bani Shalom in 10 Makis. Did anybody say the Bani Shalom? No. And you're living in an environment of Mitzrayim, where it's not attributed to Hashem. If you see it's going on, the Kutchabrich is running the world, you know, come along and recognize Hashem, that's the biggest tumma. That's the biggest wasted opportunity. So therefore, Christ will get out of Mitzrayim. You're in the environment of what these people are. You have to be moved out. After Marcus Bukharis, they only sent you out because Kulana Mason, Staten Pussy. So that's the, you have to get out of it, right? We're given an opportunity to leave the environment that overwhelms us with the way the world thinks. And now we're given an opportunity to think back of what our Tachlis is. It's a build up to Torah of Matan Torah when Shwurz is coming. And we can be Dovak Takarish Morachu. And it gives us the opportunity to realize what Benalim Chaveira is that expression of a person having opportunity to emulate Hashem, to learn from Him, to be like Him. But we have to have the basics of being with Him and understanding that it's only the Bar Like the boy, the Ramban says, and the boy, there's no such thing as Teva, everything is Nes. There's Nes Nista, Nes Nigla, and that's what Klai Yisrael built up from leaving Mitzrayim to see the whole Kutcher Brich of the Bria is all Hashem. And this opportunity we should be given an understanding that could be a tremendous success for us in these times Call Betachan Hotline, 732-719-8398. You'll have to give all the good stories of Betachan, songs of Betachan, Shilas, and ex- explaining the Mahalach that we can go through. It's a tremendous uh, resource that we should be utilized and should have Givaldi Gatzlach in this month.